An experiment is an attempt to get an answer, to clarify the unknown, to see how it was truly done. But sometimes an experiment tells us something entirely different, and this is exactly one of those cases. The question of stone working: How did ancient craftsmen achieve such complex shapes? It's not only curious tourists who ask this question; researchers do as well. At the end of the last century, Stella Nair created an internal trihedral angle in andesite. Later, in 2018, Olga Vidovina repeated this experiment in granite. Stone tools. About 40 hours of work. The geometry is achievable, but the important part lies elsewhere. Take a closer look at the surface with cut marks in Olentay Tambo. We see two perpendicular cuts. Remove the stone between them, and a clean internal angle appears. The same principle can be seen in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs carved into stone, and on the mysterious blocks of Tiwanaku with their rows of holes. This is not simple chiseling, not random breaking. The stone was cut, but with what? If they could make such cuts, maybe there were tools of a different level, perhaps even bronze tools with fixed abrasive. Yet experiments keep trying to prove the opposite. Again and again, ancient craftsmen are placed in conditions as if they were primitive savages. But the marks on the stone whisper another story, a far more complex one, and a much more intriguing one.